Hey guys, and welcome to the seventh episode in the third series of my daily movie reviews. And today, I'm going to talk about Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, based on the fourth book in the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Uh, this time around, directed by Mike Newell. This film centres around Harry's fourth year at Hogwarts, where he is chosen to compete in the Triwizard Tournament. And, well, the first task is dragons, and he faces a Hungarian horntail and retrieves this golden egg. Now the golden egg actually contains a clue without which he could not um, hope to proceed to the next task. The second task is the underwater challenge. Now basically Neville provides him with gillyweed to help him breathe underwater for an hour. And, well, while underwater, trying to rescue who it was that was said for him to rescue, okay, great. that was Ron, now that we're back, he nearly drowns. So he has to use a sendio to bring himself out of the water again. And now here we go. The third task is the maze. And this is where... He mur he not he doesn't murder. He witnesses Voldemort's return and the murder of Cedric Diggory. Um, and so there we go. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing, hearing so far. Now of course now new characters. This film introduces. Cedric Diggory, Amos Diggory, the new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, Mad-Eye Moody. It turns out, in the end, to be Barty Crouch Jr., Barty Crouch Sr. Anyway, um, that is basically, oh, uh, Fleur Delacour, uh, Madame Maxime, Victor Crumb, Eagle Carcroft, they all made their first appearances in this film. And uh, that's it. Well, I'll give it a 10 out of 10, as I do for every Harry Potter film. And that's Chadal for now. Until next time.